Welcome to Basildon. Home to 180,000 people and 7,000 businesses at just 35 minutes from central London by rail, Basildon has got a lot going for it, but it has suffered from a bit of a reputation. Basically, a mess <laughs> to what it was. Definitely needs a lot doing to it. If you mention Basildon, it's like, oh no, not Basildon. God, <laughs> tutting. <laughs> The council wants to turn things round. It set up an independent commission whose job it will be to give this town somewhat of a rebirth. People outside don't always see what a place is really like. They, you know, they know the cliche, the stereotype. And actually part of this is about really identifying and communicating what, what Basildon really is, both the good and the bad. You know, what's great about it, what's not so great, and how can we improve it? This isn't the first time there's been talk of boosting Basildon. Back in 1948, a government minister came to Basildon and said, Basildon will become a city which people from all over the world will want to visit. It will be a place where all classes of community can meet freely together on equal terms and enjoy common cultural recreational facilities. So how far has Basildon come? TripAdvisor lists Towngate Theatre as one of the town's big draws. Its panto star says there's already a lot going for it. Literally just across there from the theatre, you know, you can. I walk my dog in between shows and, you know, it's like just trees and everything for miles. It's, it's really nice. And it's full of really salt of the earth people. It's, and it's a really good humoured place. I'm a northerner and I think it's quite a similar kind of really great people. At this popular pie and mash shop, locals told me what could improve the town. Tidy up a bit, a bit more cleaner, less pound shops. It would be a bit more like South End. South End's got a better atmosphere. This really hasn't got an atmosphere. I don't think so anyway. Not any improvements are good improvements, aren't they? The Commission will work with businesses, residents and schools to work out how to boost the town. Their recommendations could become real policies, so maybe one day Basildon could rival that other place with a famous sign. Tulu Adarie, BBC London News.